Hey guys, I'm Richard and today I'm back again with another unboxing video and as you can see I'm very much in my Christmas spirit. I have the Santa hat on. I don't have any uh, Christmas sweaters so yeah but the Santa hat has to count for something right? So today well the thing that I'm unboxing actually isn't for myself. I got it as a Christmas gift uh, for my brother. Um, I also got my mom the exact same pair but I'm gonna be unboxing my brother's pair right now. Um, so it's another pair of shoes, uh, it's a pair of running shoes because it's what I know best. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get right into it. So this is the Adidas Boston 11, the Adi Zero Boston 11. So um, this pair is marketed as a tempo day or fast uh, pace day training shoe. Um, at the elite level or at the sub elite or amateur level a lot of people use it as a budget racer um, so you could kind of race like half marathons full marathons with it um, maybe not anything like road 5ks typically people like stuff that's like a, a tad more aggressive and a little more snappy for that but maybe a road 10k I'm not very much into the long distance running uh, scene so i don't really know exactly what shoes are used for like what distances specifically but i do know a bit of the technology that goes on behind the shoes um so let's get into that um we'll start with the upper on this the upper uh is probably the thing that has changed most from the um adidas boston 10 uh based on uh, like the pictures and stuff that I've seen online, this upper is much thinner um, and much more breathable than the ones on the Boston 10. Um, and as such, uh, it reduces a bit of the weight and every little bit kind of counts, you know, like you take off a gram here and there and over the course of, you know, the 42.2 kilometers that you're lugging your shoes around for when you run a marathon, a couple grams might add up to like a couple of seconds um, and it'll give you like just that little bit more energy but it does matter you know like they say it's um it's not the mountain ahead it's the pebble in your shoe that weighs you down so yeah this reduces just a bit of that weight and on the back here I thought there was something that was really cool um so there's like a little foldable pull tab so if you're putting your shoe in it you could use this and then you could pull so that you get your foot in a little bit easier and then afterwards, so that it doesn't scrape against your Achilles, you could just fold it down. And I thought that was really cool. Like I hadn't really seen that on a running shoe before. Um, and I've had a couple of pairs in my time and yeah, none of them have that. Most of them just have that little loop there. Um, but I think this is really nice and practical and it just is like a little cool feature. And the front here is uh, a suede-like material I don't think this is real suede, but it just adds a bit of toughness at the front of the shoe so that um, when you make every ground contact, your foot doesn't like slide and stretch the material at the front too much. Um, this kind of really just keeps it in. And then we'll move on to the midsole. So there's two different types of foam here. So this foam at the top, closer to where your foot resides, is the Light Strike Pro. So the Light Strike Pro is um, really Adidas's super foam. Uh, every running company seems to have their own now. With Nike, they have Zoom X. Uh, Asics right now is using the FF Blast Plus um, or FF Blast Turbo. Uh, I think they have both. And yeah, so this foam, like the foam from uh, other supposed super shoes, it's nice and soft. But when you press against it, you can really feel that it's like bouncy and responsive. It doesn't really collapse too much. So the purpose of it is that when you run, you're able to get kind of a uh, like a softer cushion feel, but it does give you the energy return. So as opposed to running in something that a material that's super soft, for example, like Boost, you might not be able to get that snap out of it. And then it's not really ideal for if you're running like at a faster pace. And then below that, they have Light Strike, which is a firmer foam. So 
this really is there. Uh, it helps stabilize um, the Light Strike Pro. It'll make sure that like when you land, it's not like too soft, so you don't like really your foot doesn't like roll or tilt too much. Um, and sandwiched between the Light Strike Pro and the Light Strike, they have the uh, pretty signature by now Adidas uh, Energy Rods. So unlike the Adios Pros, uh, which are the top of the line racing shoes, these rods um, don't contain uh, as much carbon fiber. I believe they're mostly just like plastic material, but they're still pretty stiff. Um, like trying to bend this shoe is still not the easiest thing to do. And definitely the foam plays a part in it, but there is still that firmness, just maybe not the level of snap that like a top marathon or like someone running like I don't know, maybe like under two and a half hours would really be looking for. Um, they might see this more as a training shoe, but I think that if you're at a sub elite or amateur level, you could probably use it as a budget racer um, because they the price point isn't that expensive to begin with compared to other running shoes. And it also is not hard to find on sale. Uh, me personally, I found these on a 50% discount and yeah, uh, the outsole here, they use the Continental Rubber for traction. So this is, by many people's reviews, the best outsole uh, technology that there is. The traction is impeccable. Um, and like whether you're running on a wet road or uh, any sort of slightly slippery surface, um, this traction leaves nothing to be desired. And I think that with the with the rods, they're shaped in a way that really guides your foot um, into running in a positive uh, manner. You definitely would need to be running at a certain speed for it to be effective. Um, if you're running at too slow of a speed, maybe it will feel uh, slightly weird or if you're not contacting the ground with enough force. Um, this will really force you to roll off the uh the toe and like from the balls of your feet when you do run um certain running shoes we have seen to be either flatter or less flat um and certain ones would have more of a rocker for example the uh mizuno wave dual pros uh they don't even have a heel they just have like a very aggressive rocker so these definitely are a lot more stable than that but it still will have you rolling off the ground um, which is very ideal for faster paces. And I have seen many people complain that the break-in period for this shoe is a little bit longer than they would have liked. You know, some people going like 40 miles in and then saying that they really start appreciating the ride and the feel of the shoe after that. Um, but before that, it just doesn't feel quite, um, it doesn't feel quite right compared to like other so-called super shoes and because this pair isn't for me um i'll have to update it in a review with my brother to see what his reaction to it is and yeah another piece of this shoe that's really cool is you won't be able to see it here but um under this insole that they have here that says addy zero uh if i just take that out real quick there is actually a a piece of carbon fiber, a carbon fiber plate in here. Um, at the heel, it's not a full length by any means, um, but just at the heel, and it provides a lot of heel stability for when you are uh, running. So a lot of times you see shoes really focus on stability at the forefoot, which is because that's where more of the force is applied, and that's where you know, you go when you're leaving the ground. So you want some of that stiffness at the forefoot. Um, but having stability near the heel is also important for if you're uh, more of a heel striker or if more of a neutral runner, um, your heel will definitely contact the ground at some point, especially if you're running a much longer distance. Um, it's not very plausible to continuously uh, land only on the balls of your feet. So having that heel stability will allow you to not collapse at the heel if you uh, do tend to need the heel to uh, run. But 
A possible caveat of this is that if you are running at a slower pace and uh, heel striking, then you might have a little bit of issue with the firmness of it and it might cause uh, some slight pains in the heel and maybe in up to the Achilles tendon. But this insole that they have here, despite being pretty thin, is actually really soft. So I do think that the comfort of it would definitely be, um, be there. And yeah, that is it for the technology of this shoe. But another thing that I think about this shoe is, to be honest, I think it looks quite nice. Um, and my mom agrees too. Uh, because as I mentioned at the start of the video, I got her a pair as well. And she thinks that they're very fashionable. Um, you know, the colors are pretty classic in this pair. It's black and white. And the Light Strike Pro, I think, is a nice touch uh, because it's a different material and it's also a different color. If you get up close here, you'll see it's not pure white um, like the Light Strike is. The Light Strike is more of a, like a pure snow white, uh, like the first snowfall of the season. And the Light Strike Pro is more of an off-white cream type of color. So yeah, overall, it's just, it's a very nice touch. And then you have like a touch of the suede-like material at the front. Um, and you have the Adidas branding on the inside as well as the outside of the shoe. And on the inside here, uh, you have Adi Zero in slightly reflective and glossy letters. And the name of the shoe is at the back. And the back here is very firm, so your heel won't like move around too much either. So overall, it seems that the lockdown of the shoe is very good and the style of the shoe is also very nice. So here's the two of them together as a pair. And yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing what my brother has to say about them after he runs in them a bit. Um, so yeah, and I'll update you guys with a review of it after he's gone through a break-in period of these shoes and has a little more insight on um, how the shoe runs and how he likes to compare to maybe some other shoes that he's trained in. Um, so I'll let you guys know then. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment down below if you have any questions. And if you wanna see more content similar to this or want to follow me in uh, the various other content that I will create, um, please subscribe and it will mean a lot to me. And yeah, take care. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you next time.